In this video, I have a hanging mass here with this system of cables. I'm given that it has a mass of 4 kilograms, and the horizontal rope here in this picture has a tension in it of 12 newtons. And my question I'm asked is, what is the angle theta between this rope and the ceiling? Taking my general approach to looking at forces, the first thing, if I'm going to use Newton's second law, uh, the first thing I need to do is choose an object. Well, I have an object here. This is the mass. And so why don't I apply uh, Newton's second law on this mass? So I've chosen an object. The next thing I need to do is uh, find the forces on this object. There's uh, the gravity. It's also in contact with this rope right here. And so in that rope, it has a, a tension. I'll call this T1. That's the only force in contact with the mass. So that's it. So I can go to my free body diagram. And I have tension 1 that's up. I have the force due to gravity that's down. I think I'm, I'm beginning to see right away where this is going. If I call this up, the positive x-axis, everything's just along the x. My t1 is equal to the magnitude of t1 i-hat. My force due to gravity has a magnitude of uh, mg. It's in the negative direction. I had. I like to get my magnitudes out there, assign my signs, given my coordinate system. The sums of these forces must equal to m and a. If everything's at rest, that's zero. And I get that uh, the tension in one, the rope that's attached to the mass, is equal to the mass times gravity. And, and I think I went through a lot of steps here. If I've done a bunch of these, I might have even seen that. But that doesn't really get me anywhere, does it? Well, it, maybe it does. I, I know where this is. But but what exactly does that tell me? Is this tension the same as, let's see, is it the same as this tension? Because in the string model, I said that the tension throughout the rope is equal everywhere. But that's just not true. If that were true, I could have had that tension was equal to this tension in this rope. But also the string model had a string only connecting two objects. And I've got strings that are connected that are connected to three different objects, the mass, the wall, and the ceiling. Yeah, this tension here, this T1, isn't really the same as T. Well, how are we supposed to deal with that? The next place I want to look at Newton's laws is right at this vertex. The problem is, that's not really an object as we've defined it so far. I've always assumed my strings are massless, and so there isn't an object here with, with any mass that I've been told about. We have to imply from the problem that there exists some object here, we'll, we'll call it this, the knot, where these three strings or ropes are connected. I'm going to look at this knot where these three strings are connected. So I have to choose an object. I'm choosing that object. What are my, my forces? My forces are the, the tension in the horizontal, which I've called just T, T1, and T2. So let's do a uh, free body diagram for this. I have T1. Remember, our string model always has the uh, force in the direction of the string leading away from our object, which is, in this case, the knot. And then we have T coming off in this direction. And then we have T2, which leads away from the object, which is our knot in, in this direction. And so where is that? Where, where is the angle related to this? We know that this is theta here. And so if I draw a coordinate system, that means this angle is theta. Uh, I'm going to call this my positive x up my positive y. So if I do the vector sum of the forces, I'll, I have T my first force here, it has some magnitude t in the uh, x direction. It's at magnitude t, and it's in the negative x direction given my coordinate system, and it has nothing in the y. If I look at t1, that's equal to nothing in the x. It has a magnitude t1. It's in the negative y direction. And then t2, so it's going to have components along both directions. So now I need to find the components. So my first component, I'm going to find the length of this side of the triangle. 
and that's the magnitude t2 cos theta. That's just the length of that triangle. It's in the i hat and it's positive. Okay, that's fine. And then now I want the, the length of this side of the, of the triangle, and that's going to be uh, t2 sine theta j hat. And it's also uh, positive, it's in the positive y direction. The vector sum of these then is equal to the mass of whatever object this is. See, sort of this mass of the knot times the acceleration of the knot. And this becomes a construct, and it's not moving, so all of this is zero. And this now gives me relationships between my parameters. Gives me minus t plus t2 cos theta is equal to zero. And then I have uh, minus t1 plus t2 sine theta equal to zero. I know t and I know t1, right? I, I found t1 here. I was given t here. I know the mass. Uh, I know mass and mass g. So what I don't know is t2 and I don't know theta. And so I can use these equations, two equations, two unknowns. I'm now moving to the solving stage. I can solve them directly. So what would be the best way to solve these? If I want to get rid of t2 and solve for theta, do you know how I would do this? I would, I would get this equation first, look at t2 sine theta is equal to t1, and then this one, t2 cos theta, this is a handy trick to remember, which is equal to t. And now I'm just simply going to divide these equations, divide them. So on the left hand side, the t2's cancel, sine theta, cosine theta give me tangent theta. And then on the right hand side, I have the magnitude of t1 over t. At t1, I found from before, which is mg, and then t and t is equal to, to 12, mass is equal to 4, so this is equal to g over 3. Tangent theta is equal to g over 3, and if I plug in g, so I'll put this in the calculator, I get an angle of 73 degrees. The thing to realize, know that the tension in the strings are not the same, because not a simple string connecting two objects, like in our typical string model, each of these strings had a different tension in them. This is essentially three separate strings, all connected by an object in the center here, this sort of knot, which otherwise wasn't even described in the problem. And then also sort of a handy uh, way to divide equations when you had them in this form.